what's going on welcome back to my channel hope you're doing well if you're new to my channel welcome I'm Casey producer beat making engineer and I upload videos to help you become the best at what you do so yeah beat making videos mix engineer mixing and self-development so today's video I want to make a I'm gonna make a beat I've got an idea in my head I've got a loop and I want to show you how I take the loop and put my ideas down so but before I do that first I need to go and get a cup of tea so yeah cup of tea time it is So, got my tea, full tank of vape juice, ready to roll. See if I can get this idea down that's in my head. Like I said, I've got a loop and uh, yeah, I've got some ideas. So hopefully it will come out how I want it to come out. But before we jump to that video, I just want to quickly shout out my favourite comment this week coming from Jimenez TV. I think that's how you pronounce it. I hope I haven't butchered your name, bro. And my newest subscriber, which is Slam Troops 2. Thank you for subscribing bro, I appreciate you. All my old subscribers, I appreciate you too. Let's jump to this video. Okay, BPM for this one, 139. I've got a loop. Got a nice little loop there that I'm gonna use. Drop the loop in. This is what the loop sounds like. So first of all, I need to find the tempo of that loop. So I'm going to tap four, four bars and then cut it. And then I'm going to stretch it to fit the loop that I need. Yeah, I think it's around that spot there. I'm going to get rid of that piece there. I'm going to loop it and to see if it loops nicely. No, that doesn't work. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. So a quick way, this is, this is how I do it anyway. There probably is quicker ways to do it, but this is how I, this is my workflow. Feels like it's short. It's a little bit short. So we go about it. Okay. Right there, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna chop it up anyway. So now that I've got my loop, I wanna make that fit into four bars. So I'm just going to make it, shrink it so it fits into four bars. Alright, I don't like that, that end piece. Do -do 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 -do. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to use that there. No, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use this part here, the second note. So it's just like, just looping, just a two bar loop, really. And we've got like a little pop going on there so we're just going to get a little fade tool on that nice little fade so you, you don't hear the pop and we do the same for the end and now we're good to go so we've got the loop now I'm going to put some drums on this loop hey, if you've been following my videos from before you know I like to have a little template ready to go drums, sands and stuff like that so it just speeds up the, the process of getting the ideas done. I feel like I want to slow that down a bit, so 
I'm gonna see what it sounds like with a different pitch. I'm just gonna quickly bounce that loop because the delay is throwing me off and it's I don't know why it's doing that. Let me just quickly do that. Hit command hit control B bounce in place. Done, we can get rid of that. No. I can hear some so much melodies going off in my head already. Mm. And we're in mono. I want to hear it in stereo. Let me just try half time on there. If you don't know about half time, half time is like growth speeds for FL Studio users. So yeah, if you ain't using the half time, I suggest you start using it. Yeah, go cop that. Half time, half time, half time. I might, I might use Effectrix on this as well, just to see what it sounds like. So we've got the Effectrix, got the, the half time.
So I'm going to take that loop from Ultra Beat because I want it to be longer. I don't want it to sound so repetitive. So I can just switch up, switch up the drums a bit. So I'll join that, pick out some of the drums. Yeah, I'm going to go back to that. So yeah, let's just get another kick drum in there. Change that to the sixteenth Let's tighten up this baseline a bit. This Yeah. 
cautious, I'm not being so simple as cautious. Nipple is not doing cautious. And I'm being a man, I'm not doing cautious. Ooh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Alright, let's put some more sounds in there and see what we've got. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Wait. Yeah, that's the one, got it. <sighs> yeah, that's the one, bros. Let me bring in another sound. See if I can bring this sound in here. Lad. So, yeah. You know, I like to bring them little Vox sounds in and my beats and that. So, what I'm going to do is. I would say that what I'm gonna do is that same sound I'm gonna drop it octave so we've got two different layers of that sound. Yeah, that's how I want it. I don't know what I don't know what note that is, but we'll find it. I'm just gonna transpose that down. Take some gain off of that, make it a bit quieter. Put it in with the synths bus, so it's at the right volume. That's a lot, isn't it? I think we can go there. Let's drop it a whole octave. See how that works. Oh, no. <laughs> and it's too loud as well. Okay, let's just um. I think the octave sounded better. I think the octave sounded better, what do you reckon? Yeah? What's going on there? Right, why don't I just go with that in the first place? So we didn't, we're gonna do that. The, the, get, the get, get, guitar. The guitar melody is bugging me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it's, I don't know, there's something about it that's a bit ringy in my ears, so I'm, I'm probably gonna change that sound somewhere, somehow, before I upload this beat to my website. Just wanted to get that eight bar loop down, the eight bar idea, and as you know, I'll go back in again and switch it up. If you haven't watched my video on how to create a full beat from an eight bar loop, make sure you, you do that. So if you haven't seen that video already, hit that link there and watch it and you see how I go from an 8 bar loop to a full song. I feel like that 8 bar loop turned out nice. 
Drop a comment below, let me know what you think. Or hit me up on Instagram, let me know. If you like this video at all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching.